Hello friends, this is Vishal from Super Techie Academy. In my last video, I have explained and gone through how I have generated value for my customer by creating, a, rendering a set of images programmatically um, using uh, scripting in Blender. So in today's video, I am going to explain step by step at the code level, like how I have done that. I have researched each and everything, uh, you know, tested each and every each and every line, and you can easily use that in your project. So this is the code walkthrough, uh, and here is uh, my screen in which I'm going to share. Okay, so this is my screen on which you can see uh, py file, so Python file, and uh, you can uh, uh, write your script here. Just select the scripting option here on the Blender, and uh, then you will be able to open your file. Um, which you have saved on your local machine and you can just write the code in here. It's not uh, having IntelliSense, so you have to write it uh, like, um, you know, but it has got different colors and, uh, you know, you'll get get to know. So I was uh, doing this first time as well. So uh, this is just uh, a simple uh, kind of a program. Um, so here, what I'm doing is I'm just passing a CSV file and uh, in a loop, and then uh, I'm rendering image for, uh, each and every line, right? So, and this is a function which I have used. So this is how you define a function. These are the variables. Uh, you can pass the variables here. So what I'm doing here is uh, whatever uh, file name is there. Um, so for each line in a CSV file, I'm picking up certain variables and uh, creating a file name based on those variables like uh, this, if you can see curly braces here in which you can uh, you know pass those variables. And this is how the file path will be generated. Okay. So, um, and here, what I'm doing is I'm picking up the text object in which I have to replace the text uh, in the Blender file. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, replacing that text with the, with the values which are passed in the variables in this function, right? So for each row in the CSV file, I'm getting a couple of values and I'm updating those values uh, in, in the text objects. So you have to find the text objects, uh, you know, in the, in the scene that you have created, right? So just uh, get the name of the text objects and uh, you can uh, update um, that image with the variables and you can set the format of the file and then you need to use this command bpy.ops.render.render and make sure you use these two properties otherwise it won't write on your local machine so these are the two properties which are required to actually uh, write on your local machine and uh, this is the command you execute on this particular console right so so just don't save that in your um, file in this particular command so that uh, it will be able to execute otherwise you know it will execute it twice so you have to just uh this is just for your reference i have put it in here just remove this line and uh you know save uh this particular code in your file and execute on the on the console right so similarly you can uh, do a lot of things uh, this is just a simple program to update the text uh, in an image and then render it um, and saving it on a local machine yeah okay it guys i hope you like the video and if you really like it just click on like and subscribe button and uh, currently i'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching for the techies who are stuck in their career path and they wanted to move forward and they need some direction then get in touch with me i know it's difficult but the truth is there is no barrier in, in front of you physically you know you might have uh, got some some kind of wrong idea that you know i can't do that i can't do that but the truth is, all is there in your mind. So once you get your barriers removed in your mind, then you will become unstoppable, right? So to understand this how, you can get in touch with me by filling a simple form and my team will be in touch with you as soon as possible, okay? See you there.